I'm Karen Manzicotti. Welcome to Danger Snacks. Thanks for finding your way here. Please check out my other videos below and subscribe. So, recently I wrote a blog post called I wear a bikini because fuck you. It's about how I don't really give a shit what people think I should and should not swim in. One of the strangest responses that I got was a lot of really angry people telling me how I was promoting unhealthy lifestyle, that I was celebrating my failure to be thin, oh, and that I was going to die early and leave my children without a mother. What the actual fuck? Okay, 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 okay. There seems to be a dichotomy when we talk about weight. You're either on the side of fat acceptance and you think that we should just accept without judgment every body type, or you're on the side of, you're a stupid lazy ass, you fuck, fatty fatty. I would like to suggest a middle ground here, located in Healthlandia, where conclusions on weight are based on how our bodies function best and not how many ribs we can see. Look, accepting extreme obesity is unwise. I wish that somebody had told me that life is really much easier if you're in better shape, because really, it is. As somebody whose family has a history with extreme obesity, any talk of my making healthier choices was met with a, she's fine, leave her alone, she's fine. Not fine. Not fine to carry so much extra weight that you put yourself at risk for hypertension and diabetes. Not fine to be on the dark side of a healthy weight and not feel good enough about yourself to have quality intimate relationships. Not fine to be so fat that you put yourself at risk for knee injuries and back injuries and cardiovascular disease and joint disease and really just everything. Not fine. On the other hand, we have somehow reached the conclusion that the thinner you are, the better it is. Also, not fine. And although every woman I know is painfully aware of the top number on the healthy weight range scale, almost nobody knows that there's a bottom number. And that bottom number of the healthy weight range is actually a risk and not a goal. Most fashion models have health numbers way below what is actually considered healthy, and yet we choose to ignore that fact and idolize them. Not fine. It is, however, fine for you to be a different shape than the person sitting next to you. Anything else? It really doesn't make any sense. Of course we are different shapes. I? Not a thin girl. I'm just not. It's taken me like 40 years to realize this, but for me, being like a 12 or a 14 is in good shape. Could I lose weight and make my body so thin that my head looks like a giant lollipop? I could, but I have good blood pressure and I'm strong and flexible. I can do serious cardio, so I'm probably not going to. However, recently I gained like 10 pounds and I'm not happy about it. My clothes still fit, just not the same as before. My husband slash cameraman is most upset about this because of the lingerie embargo that's happening in my house. He's confused. He doesn't understand. Come on, woman, put some lingerie on. For the love of God, lingerie is stretchy for a reason. Strap some lace on those 10 extra pounds and let's go. You're great, you're beautiful. He cannot tell the difference between 10 pounds ago Karen and recent Karen. I really can't. But I can and that's all that really matters. How you feel about yourself makes all the difference. And my husband, he just wants me happy, not necessarily 10 pounds thinner. Happy's good, really good, no matter how much you weigh. And I'm making steps to get into a healthy range. Healthy, not sample size, not gaunt or anemic, not exercising so much I lose my boobs. Just back into the range where I'm no longer putting myself at risk for joint pain. It's really simple. Love yourself enough to take care of yourself. Love yourself enough to feed yourself well. Love yourself enough to move your body. And most importantly, love yourself enough to dismiss media messages and opinions about beauty that don't work for you. Obesity is a problem, but you don't have to make it your problem. Thin obsession is a problem, but you don't have to make it your problem. And if other people are trying to make it your problem, you don't have to give a fuck.